All right, guys, it's Dokkan time, and today we are going to be going over how to build the GoBros. So the GoBros are uh, probably going to be a little bit debatable. Some people are probably going to say eh, no, and then some will be like, mm, okay. So uh, let's see here. So they are the Miracle Calling Clash, Super Saiyan Teen Gohan and Super Saiyan Goten Kid. Um, they are siblings bond, category lead, key plus four, attack and defense, HP 170, and then Goku family category, key plus three, HP attack and defense 170. So um, gr the, the only annoying thing I honestly hate about them is that their super attack for 12 key and 18 key are both greatly raise attack and then raise defense for one turn. So you get no benefit really other than the higher damage modifier, obviously, from the 18 key and just, you know, higher key count in general. So it, it's just like, I mean, do you really, really have to care? Because it's going to give you the same defensive buff no matter what. And that's that's the part that we care about is the defense buff um, in today's even in. OK, so even in this meta shift that we've had from worldwide download and even before it, defense is king defense is everything you don't take damage you're fine <laughs> um, and in the case of this unit they could have really low defense but then they could have really high defense so it all just really depends um, but if we look at their passive here we got attack and defense 158 and we have an additional already built in uh, but we have to keep in mind that that additional is only a fifth the whatever you want to 50 percent chance to actually uh proc so 50 historically 50 is it feels very low it's not low but it feels low if that makes any sense um so plus an additional key plus one per type key sphere um so you, you get an extra key sphere per key sphere um key plus one up to five plus an additional attack plus 10% in defense 10% up to 100 with each attack performed. So the good thing about that is, is that even if you get normal additionals, um, this will still go towards that overall defense and key multiplier. So it's actually very, unless you're fully built up, then I mean, it's no matter what, you're getting something out of it, you know? So once again, we have additionals in here. We got things we want additionals for, and then this next one, plus an additional attack and defense plus 59%, and launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when there's an ally who includes Goku in the name, attacking in the same turn. And then of course he gets another attack plus 59% during the active or 24 key and this absolutely worthless freaking part of his passive disables Rampage. Um, so... I mean, he does have an active skill of massively raising attack. The only thing that bothers me about the active is that it's just basically another free super attack, you know? Um, you get it when your HP is 59% or less when you're facing only one enemy from the third turn on. So, um, that is the other thing, is that you have to... <laughs> yeah, you have to be facing one enemy, and it has to be the third turn on. So it's not like you just activate it right away at all. By the third turn you're probably bordering around probably four to six attacks that you've gotten in. It really just depends on your RNG. So that could be at least another guaranteed additional attack. So by that, by the time he comes into his third appearance, when the Gobros hit their third appearance, they're pretty much going to be at 100% if you activate their active pretty much, I think. I think on average you could be up there. Um, but anyways, so their links are all in the family. That's a great link. Um, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Fierce Battle, Blazing Battle, Kamehameha, and Legendary Battle. The most worthless one in here is honestly the Blazing Battle. You'll probably never have Blazing Battle activated almost at any point of freaking time. It's just, it's never going to be activated. It's a, it's a worth, it's an absolutely worthless, worthless ability. Um, Blazing Battle. It used to be worth something um, with with <laughs> with uh, Broly back in the day, 
but we haven't seen the mechanic of that for a while. And if we have, we've jumped over it to the point of not needing to needing it necessarily. So, um, <clears throat> he does have quite a few categories. He's earth based, power of wishes, um, bond of parent child. I mean, movie heroes, all very, very good categories as of right now. Um, obviously he's not no future unit, so, but there's that. So the one thing I want to keep in mind here is, is that this LR tech Goku, Carnival Goku, is his best friend. Now, the issue with him being his best friend is that he doesn't get all in the family proct, um, which means that this Gobros is losing out on 20% defense, which is actually quite a bit, um, unfortunately. Because the Gobros are not a slot 1 unit. They're just not. Um, they're a slot 2 unit. They need to get their super attacks off or you're going to be in trouble. You're not taking them into Dismal Future. You're not taking them into AoE based attacks. If you do take them against Broly, you can. Um, that would be the one and only time I would chance putting him into slot 1. Mostly just to pray to RNGs that he doesn't super before... Um, you actually get the super attack. Um, but yeah, frame one, hopefully, STR Broly wouldn't be AoEing, hopefully. Unlikely. But he does have some options as far as um, units go. I mean, you could rock the pseudo 7th anniversary LRs. They do have all in the family. Um, they are also a very good partner, but not for very difficult content. Um, you, Namagoku, no, he doesn't actually have it either. So the thing is, you have a couple options of the way you can use Gobros. You can either utilize different Super Saiyan Gokus and float them off. Um, the, the problem with floating Super Saiyan Gokus is that there's just not very many good options for that. This actually used to be one of his better um, partners, being the uh, Five Guys. Obviously, still don't have all in the family. But you have so many buffs and advantages with rocking um, the five guys that it does help out quite a bit. The problem with just about every viable Super Saiyan Goku is that every single one of them wants slot two as well. They want to stay on rotation so that they can build. I mean, the the Carnival Goku, he's got to build up his defense. He really got to, he really has to focus that defense. So he has to be in slot one. Um, you don't want to float him off necessarily. Uh, Namagoku, you want to keep him on rotation and build up that defense as fast as insanely possible. And the the Five Guys Goku, he needs to get hit as much as entirely possible. He needs to build up as much as entirely as possible. He has to stay on rotation or you're just going to be hurting. And then, I mean, this Goku right here, the STR Goku Gone is an option, but um, the All in the Family isn't worth it as, once again, these guys got to build up excessively and they're just not good for Slot 1. So no matter what, you're never rocking all in the family. Um, and l let's go over to the calculations before we go into the, their hidden potential. Um, thank you, Halvard, once again, <laughs> for having these these clean uh, freaking things. This is kind of an older post from like September, apparently. Um, but so start a turn defense without support, which is probably going to be the most likelihood of happening. It's only 200k defense. That's not good enough. Um, post super 300k, not good enough. Um, double super 400k. Now we're talking. So he has to minimum of double super without any support. Um, turn one for a majority of the difficult, difficult content, no matter what. Um, if he's fully built up, which unfortunately fully built up, you're probably looking at full build up is probably around turn five six seven roughly it really just depends on how lucky your rng got um and if you went in for a uh, full full aa full additionals or not as well start a turn defense 400k full build up that's good unfortunately at the point that he comes in at freaking turn six to seven that's not good enough um double super almost 700k defense that's really good um, triple super, he's looking amazing. So, uh, the, the one thing I would like to keep in mind is that if you have the Goku on the same rotation and he's fully built up, he's looking very phenomenal. I mean, 
uh, with a, an additional super attack, I mean, you're hitting million defense, man. That's really freaking good. So, I mean, you could theoretically bring him into dismal future kind of red zones. You just would have to... You would have to protect him until he gets fully built up. You really would. Um, as I, I try to can tell people, dismal future red zone is, is definitely a re item requirement almost. Um, if you're not rocking like a very, very top 10 freaking meta relevant team, then you, you're pretty much, you're screwed to using items. I'm sorry. Otherwise, you're just asking for trouble. You're just asking to have a very uncomfortable time in Dismal Future Red Zone and so forth. Um, anything before Dismal Red v Red Zone, I mean, I'd say he's very comfortable and he's very good for all of the content except for Worldwide Download Meta Shift. So, um, if you magically have a 40% buff, then he's looking insane. Um, but more than likely, you're never going to see this part. Um, you also have to keep in mind that you need to knock out 20% of this. My assumption is that he's including all in the family. Um, which is not a good idea because it'll almost never be active, almost. It really depends on the team and the scenario you're going into. But unfortunately, it's just it's just never it's just never gonna happen. I'm sorry. It, the the likelihood of you being able to rock a Super Saiyan Goku is it a Goku or is it a Super Saiyan Goku? Hold on, let me let me back let me backtrack here. Goku. Okay, so I take it back. You could theoretically rock a different Goku. Um. You're not going to share enough links because, as you can see here, the links just start going down immensely. Um, but I mean, if we can rock, where where's the World Tournament Goku? If we can rock World Tournament Goku, we can get all in the family activated. But you're not going to have any other key links activated, which is definitely a plausible issue. But this World Tournament Goku is an option as a uh, person to put in there. Um, you could also go with Kid Goku, but he's not a slot one unit. I don't think he... Oh, he does have all in the family. So this Kid Goku is also definitely an option. So there is also the possibility that he could actually have all in the family up quite a bit of the time. Now that I'm actually thinking about it. I mean, you could rock God Goku. You could rock Kid Goku and World Tournament Goku. Float all of these suckers off as soon as they're fully built up and just have the Tech Carnival Goku sitting in slot 1 protecting Gobros while they're just launching supers. Yeah, I think that would be very viable. The only issue I would see is literally God Goku needs to build, World Tournament Goku needs to build. And that's just the thing with a lot of Goku units, uh, is that a lot of Goku units want to build up. Um, uh, the, I mean, there's also the Kai Goku that would be a solid slot one unit as well. Um, I think he also has all in the family. So, I mean, you have several, um, yeah, you have several bloody good options for an all in the family. So I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I apologize. I apologize. You could have all in the family active, and this is very likely to happen. 40% uh, support, probably not. You probably will not rock a 40% support. I can't even imagine. Like, what 40% support can we really realistically like what 40 percent support can we realistically look at here um i don't i don't think there is um uh, i mean we we could theoretically run an earth-based warriors team because they are earth-based warriors right yeah they're earth-based earth-bred warriors my bad um, you could rock Bulma on the team and then get that solid uh, almost 40% at all points of time. That is also a very valid, good option, I would say. Um, so I guess you, it is very likely you could definitely see this averaging. Like You could definitely see on average of um, <laughs> this max possible defense. So with all of that, <laughs> with all of that in mind... Um, I would definitely say it really depends on what kind of content you're going to bring them into. Are you going to bring them into the new Dismal Future Red Zone? Are you going to bring them into the um, uh, uh, the Divine Wrath and Mortal Will event? Or are you just going to stick to a lot of the older events or what he's specifically going to be good for? Um, because I, I do this every time. I have 
I have two builds for you. Two, always two builds. We have the safe build, and then we have the um, actually like making use of the unit. So um, the thing is, is that people <laughs> people go the truth route, and that's fine. You know, dodge advocacy. Uh, de dodge is 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 a, a meaning of life for some people, and that's great. That's fine. You can go full dodge if you so wish. Go full dodge. I mean, I guess you can go full dodge. No, no, I, I don't suggest dodge on them. And the only reason I don't suggest dodge is because they don't have any crit. They don't have any attacks effective against all types. So they're like, they're not doing any damage. Why are you bringing them? That's, the, that, that's all I got to say is like, why are you bringing go bros? If you don't want damage because these guys they can do a crap ton of damage they can do a lot of damage and still be defensively viable as long as they're getting the super attacks off this is one of those units you can argue to say i kind of want a little bit of everything i can see that i can see that you would probably want a little bit of everything you know um but my my personal suggestion would be um no don't use don't use the dodge go full additional and put the rest into crit if you had to put a gun to my head um i would probably suggest putting at least 12 crit into him with 12 crit it's just like you're constantly launching supers maybe half of those are maybe going to actually get a crit off it's hard to say um but I think there's a very, very decent chance you could at least get some crits out of that. Because no matter what, you still want to go for additional for the GoBros. You want to go for that quad, or not quad, but that triple super. Because um, you want your base one, you want the first part of your passive, you want the second part of your passive, and then you want the hidden potential to go off. Four. So, you know, no, I, I, I meant I meant quad. Quad. So, quad supering would be ideal... And pretty nice I would say <laughs> um, and if you primarily went with additional and then put the rest into crit if you got lucky enough you could quad crit not very many bosses are gonna live that I mean he's gonna do a good amount of damage in fact you could go for a penta you could go or you not penta mathematical terminology um, you could go for five super attacks because he has his active skill, which is insane. So you active, you do the, so you active, do the normal super, you do the first part of his, his passive, the second part of his passive with Goku, and then you have the hidden potential. That's a lot of supers. <laughs> but, 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 you could also argue that because he already has the innate potential to triple super, that you don't need additionals some people could probably argue that that you don't need additionals and you can just go for the full damage and then go put the rest into dodge and hope that he dodges when he needs to dodge um personally i i might put in like maybe five dodge into him personally personally i might put five dodge into him and go full additional and then put the rest into crit that's what i want to do um, but I think a large majority of people are probably going to highly, highly, and I do mean highly suggest probably are going to tell you, hey, ignore this fool, go full dodge, go into additional, and just get the maximum defense value out of him. That's fine, you can do that. Personally speaking, I want to go more of a crit additional route, um, but this is actually one of those units that can benefit just enough by having a decent little mixture of it all so there is that to keep in mind personally i'm going for a more crit build because i want to see the damage numbers i want to see unga bunga damage unga bunga <laughs> um but if you want to go for a more defensive centered route and you want him to live and and be in the newer content then yeah he needs additional and dodge uh but personally i'm going the crit additional put a little bit of tiny dodge a little dodge goes a long way um but yeah so anyways guys let me know how you're going to 
actually build the Go Bros unit. I am actually genuinely curious because this is one of those units that can just benefit from a very large amount of different builds and can look immensely different based on your build. You could go no crit, full additional, and freaking full dodge, and the dude will never die because he's just dodging everything, but then he can't get... Ta he tanks anything he doesn't dodge. Um, or you could be like me, and you're going to go for crit and f an additional, and you're just going to be launching crits, 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 and you're going to try not to need to dodge. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let me know if that helped you decide how you're going to uh, actually go f put in your hidden potential for the Go Bros. Uh, once again... Majority of people are going to tell you additional and dodge. I personally am going for crit and additional or additional and crit. Probably a little bit more additional. Yeah, probably more additional. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Have a good day and a good night.